All right, good evening, YouTube. Nighttime video here. Hoping the upload will be a little faster if I make this video at night. Wanted to talk to you tonight a little bit about uh, two-way communications. These are the two um, Uniden, I'm not sure what the model number is, but these are two Uniden CB uh, 40 channel CB transceivers, handheld transceivers that I got um, recently within the last few months and wanted to talk about a couple of tips um, especially during like a national nationwide SHTF uh, or some like some large event where you really need to communicate I thought that I would give you some tips uh, and well you might think ugly prepper we like you and all but uh, who are you really to be giving out tips about a radio well you know um, I have been a ham radio operator for well over 20 years um, I have had HF stations uh, VHF UHF long wave if you can talk on it with, with a ham license, I've been on it uh, 30 meter Morse code CW, done all that too. Um, wanted to show you a few uh, a few things here. These are a few of my cards. This one's from Turkey, where I, uh, ham radio operators send each other cards. I've got this one, some of these are covered up. They have my personal information on them. But uh, this one was from Turkey, worked them on 10 meters. This one is uh, Yugoslavia. So yeah, I, I have worked a lot of stations on on HF, on ham radio. Here's one from Germany. So um, here's one from Scotland. So anyway, I've got a stack of those things. There's, there's 400 of them laying over here. But um, I just wanted you to know that you're not just taking advice from some geek who don't know what he's talking about. I've been around the ham radio world for over 20 years. And y'all, there are thousands of people that know more about radio communications than I do. Don't get me wrong. But I, I, I'm, not, uh, I'm not just some junior grade. I mean, I, I know what I'm talking about when it comes to ham radio or any kind of radio communications. Um, so anyway, tips. You'll notice that I've got something covered up on this. Uh, we'll get to that in a minute. Both of these radios have something covered up. Let's see if you can see that. These chan these radios come on channel nine. Uh, so um, they come on the emergency channel. That's in your 40 channel radios. Channel nine's usually, or used to be emergency. Um, okay, enough beating around the bush here. Uh, Tip number one, no matter what uh, type of radio you're using, whether it's G, uh, ground mobile radio, if it's family radio service, if it's CB, if it's ham, whatever type of radio band you are using, tip number one, use the lowest frequency possible. Why? The lower the frequency, the broader the range. And if you'll notice, this is a two meter 440 ham radio. And you'll notice the difference in sizes on these radios and on these antennas. The higher the frequency, the shorter the range. The higher the frequency, the smaller the antenna, which means the shorter the range. Um, so yeah, you, you may not always be able to, to go down to, uh, to channel one. Um, where's my channel button at here? Let's go down to one. You may not always be able to go down to channel one. Somebody may be occupying that frequency. Uh, but I would go as low as you can. Channel one is actually on the top of the 26 megahertz bands. It's the tip top. But uh, it's lower than all 40, which means it will have 
maybe just a tiny bit, but it would have more range. Um, so there's your tip number one. Use the lowest frequency you can uh, in whatever radio service you're using. Go as low as you can. You'll, you'll have better range to some degree. Uh, tip number two, preset some call signs. Uh, that's why these are covered up. I have my preset call signs that are taped. I've got them taped on here. I wrote them on a piece of paper and taped them on here. Um, Subcategories on this one. Do not pick call signs that relate to each other. You don't want to just give away on the air that, hey, Billy Joe Bob and, and, and Goober over there all go together. They, they you know... If people listen long enough, they'll figure it out anyway. But you don't want to, let's see, what movie could I use? Um, you don't like Bambi. Some of us have been around long enough to have seen Bambi. You don't want to use Bambi on this radio and Thumper on the other one. Those two names go together. Or, um, what's another one? Smokey and the Bandit. Or, you know, or... You don't, you don't want to use names that relate to each other. Yeah, that makes it easy on you, but it also tells everybody, hey, these two guys may be working together. And during a nationwide SHTF, you may not want to broadcast that. Like I said, if people are listening long enough, they will figure it out. Um, tip number three. We're moving right along on this video. I've done got organized tonight, y'all. Um, storage. Store these without the batteries in them. I put the battery in this one just so I could show you that it is, you know, it's a unit in CB40 channel and it does work. But when you put these up to store, store them without the batteries in them. I've had radios, I've had, I can't tell you how many weather radios I've had to buy because I left the batteries in them. And then it, the inside, the springs, the, con, the contactors got, uh, corroded with battery acid and it just failed to work. So when you store any kind of electronics, um, CB radios, ham radios, whatnot, you know, some of these ham radios have battery packs that, you know, the rechargeable kind. But if it takes double A's or something to that effect, store them without the batteries in them. Uh, for long-term stores, now if you're just going to store it for one night, it would probably be all right. But don't forget, when you go to long-term store these things, take the batteries out. Uh, moving along, tip number four. Mm. Select radios with multiple power levels. If you and your buddy aren't but, you know, a half a mile away, there's no need to run five watts. Uh, the whole time. This this radio here was well, just the reason why I bought these. It's going to be hard to see. But this these have a switch down here. And I know you can't see it. My lighting sucks. But there's a switch from low to high power. Uh, low is 2.5 watts or 2.5 watts. Uh, and it'll be different on every radio. Some ham radios some ham radios, it may be, uh, low may be a half a watt, and high may be two and a half watts, or whatever. You know, every radio is going to be different. Family radio services will probably be different power settings. But, yeah, um, select radios with multiple power settings. That way you can save your batteries. You can conserve your batteries, plus you're not putting every bit of power out for people to just listen from far off, you know. If you want to keep it well then a half a mile, use your low power setting. And then if uh, if you start having issues, you know, then you can bump it up to a higher power. Um, so yeah, if you can. And the, these, I spent like $40 a piece on these. These things are not cheap. Uh, these Unidens are good radios. I've used Unidens for years. Since the Uniden, since Uniden took over Bearcat. That's how long that's been. Uh, so uh, this is the Uniden, the ones I'm using. I found the number, y'all. They're Uniden Pro 40. Uh, no. They're unit in Pro 401 HH is the number on these. If you want to buy, find these on Amazon or wherever you buy your radios at. 
Um, and these have the multiple power settings. They only have two settings, two and a half watts and five watts, I believe is the ones on this one. So yeah, the last tip I have for you is, um, yeah, get ones, get radios with multiple power settings so you, you don't have to talk five watts all the time. Uh, and it, as your range expands between your two transmitters, then you can up the power and expand out as needed. Uh, okay, guys. Short video tonight. But I thought uh, maybe my upload time would be a little faster if I tried uploading one at night. Eh, Alabama. We'll see. But uh, those are the tips I wanted to go over uh, on two-way communications. Um, just trying to bring something to the table that maybe somebody didn't know. Thank y'all for watching. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you found this interesting. Thumbs down if you didn't like it or if you're just a, one of those people. Uh, subscribe. Appreciate you watching. Um, you know, I don't know how to edit all this videos and put all these bright yellow letters on my videos and all that stuff. I don't, I don't know how to do none of that. But I stick to what I know. And I have got 20 years in such experience with radios of all types. So y'all stick to your high production videos and I'll stick with my low production videos about things I actually know about. Have a good evening. Stay prayed up. Stay prepped up. God bless you all. An ugly prepper.